Alright guys, so for the sake of actually keeping some content going through my channel and not leaving it dry, um, uh, I'm actually just going to start showing you guys, um, I'm, I, I'm not going to actually start building in this film, in this particular video, I'm just going to show you what, what I have planned for um, actually both the unicorn and unicorn mode and destroy mode. So what you're looking at right now is basically a gist of what I'm going to be working with. Uh, so, this isn't everything that I'm going to work with, and neither is it going to be the finalized, you know, set of what I'm going to be working with. Um, like, obvi like, obviously, this this back here, this Krylon um, clear coat flat, I'm definitely going to be using, because I want to finish um, this guy in a flat finish, destroy mode in a flat finish, and also the head display base in a flat finish. Um, some of the colors that I want to work with, and you're probably wondering why there's some blue and why there's some red. Uh, I do not plan to paint the clear parts on the destroy mode um, a different red. I'm going to keep that red, but what I want to achieve, and why you see the chrome silver plate Gundam marker here, and chrome silver plate, the silver plate Gundam marker, and the chrome silver paint, the acrylic chrome silver paint there, is because what I want to do is actually want to give it more of a glittery kind of shiny effect rather than just being a glowing clear color you know effect that we've all you know seen before um, and I'm actually gonna work with the head display base first just to see how that's gonna look like um, obviously it's gonna turn out either better or worse because of the bigger pieces but uh, that's the first thing that you guys will see me working on and I will be painting that in real in you know I'll actually record myself painting that rather than um, you know painting this and then painting that and then you know behind the camera and then um, when I'm done I show you guys the camera I'm gonna show you guys me actually painting that thing um, you know so it'll be like actual trial trial and error kind of thing so you, you guys will know firsthand as well along with me when I mess up and things like that and it's acrylic paint so it'll be a little bit easier to, to uh, well I won't be using this but I'll be using the chrome silver most likely so it's acrylic paint it'll be a lot easier to clean up compared to just using Gundam marker um, another thing that I'm going to be working on is, uh, and that, all that red stuff is going to be with destroy mode. With this guy here, uh, with, uh, dis with the unicorn mode, I'm not going to do it at the same time as I'm going to do destroy mode. This is kind of, uh, kind of, uh, a future project that I want to, kind of want to work on. Maybe when I'm getting a little impatient with unicorn destroy mode, I want to set it aside and work on this guy. Uh, what I plan to do, why I have this, uh, acrylic light or it's more like sky blue um, what I'm gonna do is instead of panel lining the guy entirely gray I might panel line him here and there gray um, but if anything I'm gonna add some more gray to him um, don't know where I'm not sure how I kinda like the way it looks now but you know this is just this is you know unicorn mode and I'm kinda thinking well if I add gray to this guy where am I gonna add that same gray to destroy mode um, are they going to be panels that actually disappear during transformation from Unicorn to Destroy Mode? Will those will that gray even show up in the end? So I'm going to have to plan that out and think think about that. Um, so if it doesn't you know if it doesn't work out, then I just won't do it at all. But one thing I will do is I will do panel line washes uh, on the Destroy Mode on on Unicorn Mode using Sky Blue um, because. Uh, to kind of go with the theme of his box art, with and of course you know when you see the the two different uh, the two different uh, mobile suits you see with unicorn it's blue and then when it comes to destroy it's all red. You can see that in the box. You could even see that in the OVA. Uh, the thrusters that the, the uh, thruster light that emits from dis from unicorn mode is blue. Um, I haven't seen enough clips. I have to go back and see just to make sure destroy mode doesn't emit any blue stuff uh, if it does then that does change some things so I'm gonna go ahead and look at that um, it'll actually be interesting if uh, destroy mode does emit some blue because that way I can mix some blue and some red here and there most likely I'll mix some blue in, um, in the thruster area but we'll see we'll see how all that works um, now I also have the navy blue here this is a uh, U.S. Navy Blue from Mr. Hobby. It's a Gun Sanjo, uh, which is basically Mr. Hobby color. Um, we also have the thinner here. 
and this is going to be used for the uh, beam magnum cartridges also the uh, weapon cartridges on the bazooka so making just making sure I uh, keep it consistent I also notice it's pretty much pretty much close to the the blue the navy blue found on unicorn anyway um, so that's another thing I'm gonna try to focus on um, now these uh, sprays here this is that natal black Tamiya natal black that I've had for a while but never really used I tested it out on my uh, my typical test parts trees which is a uh, which I completely lost now but uh, I, I still wish I had those parts because I used I used it for testing different sprays um, so this take a close look at the cap here it do, it looks like a completely dark gray probably an, an ideal gray that I need to make the Seraphim 2 uh, Cerav 2 if I ever got it but it doesn't come out like this it comes out more of a military very 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 dark flat black um, more like I'm sorry kind of a military very very dark flat gray um, almost close to black kind of thing it's like if it was maybe one or two color spread one or two color spectrums over it would be completely black um, but it's that's how it comes out and I want to spray paint the beam magnum and also on the bazooka NATO black and that way I'll be able to add in some silver ax silver detail highlights here and there very much like the way um, Kibo did her Sinanju's beam rifle and I, I kinda told her I was like oh you're you're kinda doing what I had planned so um, just kind of a, a uh, I guess discretion here I word discretion when you guys see that and what you just what, what you guys just heard I'm not taking her idea um, I actually got the idea from a hobby magazine um, I'm thinking maybe Kibo did I didn't really ask her but uh, but if you do see that my, my uh, her Sinanju beam rifle would look the same as my you know my unicorns beam magnum and hyper bazooka and eventually uh, high grade universal century Sinanju which I'm getting uh, it's not because I took the idea from her it just so happens to be it's very similar which is, it was just a weird coincidence I, I got the idea from a hobby magazine which I can't remember which issue it was but I saw it months ago and I've always wanted to uh, mimic that because I thought it looked really cool so uh, I'm going to be using the NATO black for this guy um, and I might also end up using the same NATO black and you see so this this cost me five ninety nine and up at a hobby shop uh, that I like to go to in um, Berkeley slash Ashby area uh, very uh, very trusted hobby shop there so you know, if, if I were ever to do if I were to ever do a support your local hobby shop video I would go there um, and I guess that's it so these are just you know my plans for the kid I'm not sure if I'm gonna 100% execute them but it's what I have planned to do uh, if anything, I'm definitely going to start on working on the head display base because I figure if I mess up the head display base, it's not something I really wanted, but I have anyway. And if I mess up, it's totally fine. Uh, it's neat that I have a head display base. Um, it would be even neater if I make it if I make it turn out the way I wanted to. But if I completely mess up, then it's completely fine. It's just going to be a it's just going to end up being a unicorn bust, some sitting somewhere on the corner or something. So that's my um. That's my plan for this project. Um, yeah, that's my plan for this project. So I hope you guys join me in that. Uh, I do have to apologize for those of you guys who are waiting for a quanta video. Um, you guys know the issue. I there's this uh, piece that snapped, and I'm uh, waiting for it all to settle down. I I guess I waited a day. I waited overnight. Uh, tried to place it back, but the poly cap just kept on. Uh, breaking the bonds, so maybe I di either I didn't put enough or I just didn't wait long enough. So I let it break again so I can get some more glue in between the cracks, hoping. And I actually held it in place for a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna have to set it aside for another two days, and then see how see how it turns out by either Thursday or tom or Wednesday night. Right now it's actually Tuesday.
that was Tuesday. That's cool. Um, so yeah, I do apologize for that. So, you know, for now, because I've been really bored, and I'm giving <laughs> my mom a chance to actually watch TV instead of me uh, going directly to the TV and playing Dynasty Warriors Gundam 2, uh, I'm going to work on Unicorn. And uh, also, I guess as a model kit update, since i um, focusing more on that, I've been convinced that my next Master Ray that I'm going to work with is either going to be Wing Gundam or the Strike Noir. Because I've all, seeing all these Death Scythe uh, Master Raid reviews, kind of like, man, I really want to get that Wing Gundam review done. Uh, Wing Gundam review, Wing Gundam uh, kit done. Because uh, you know, I've I've really heard no bad news at all about it. Not not much at least. And it looks like a promising kit, and I really want to get it done before any other you know Wing Gundam release comes. Also, Master Grade Strike Noir because it is my mascot Gundam, so I gotta get my mascot Gundam done, you know. Um, also, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be um, doing the Strike Noir entirely in its original colors. I'm going for, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going for this NATO black. I'm probably gonna go for, um, yeah, NATO black, and then normal black at certain areas. Also, I'm gonna try and do two shades of gray, the normal Gundam gray and uh, Okay, I'm going to leave the gray alone because it's it's just the two ideal grays that I need. But instead of using red at the torso, the only amount of red that I see, um, except for a few details here and there on the guns and stuff, I'm going to make that uh, Titan's purple, or whatever color that is. Um, because I think the, the, the Titan's color scheme is just a little bit more... How, how should I say this? More badass looking. The red and the yellow kind of... It, it kind of works, but... If I make it the red and yellow, if I keep it the normal colors, it, it would be, I guess, alright. But there's, you know, a little bit too many Strike Noirs out there with normal colors. So I kind of want uh, to, since it is my channel's mascot, it is the Versus Z mascot, I want to color it the way I want to color it. Um, in other words, I'm going to color it the same colors as my channel right now, which is mostly dark blue, some dark gray, and some black. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Alright, I think I've talked on a little too long. I'm sure you guys are expecting some kind of build progress here, and I do apologize. But uh, those are just my plans for this. The next video will definitely be a paint and build video. I'm really going to take advantage of this 15-minute thing. Um, and I guess, you know what, if you're, if you're watching this and there is a video that does take a little bit longer than... Um, 15 minutes, then you know what? I'll I'll, I'll upload it on the versus uh, the versus Z channel, so so some of them can you know see what's going on with, with this channel. Um, all right, so join me with join well, join me along with this project, and you know if uh, you guys have any suggestions or maybe some of you have already done something like this, um, you know, give me some tips. All right, it's gonna be greatly appreciated. Alright guys, see you later.